But J.D. Vance made a point of saying he's only 40 years old. I'm 40 years old. Like, I'm just getting started. Well, this is this is where, right, the fundamental shift from Reagan immigration theory to what we see now as dominant in the Republican Party. Who are you going to give that ladder to, right? The, the idea of letting in certain types of people based on preconceived notions of what certain looks or ethnicities and what that can be. And Trump, once again, very clear just last week using, I mean, the New York Times headline was kind of bonkers on this, where they was like, oh, Trump has a proclivity for, uh, you know, genetic discussions. I'm like, no, 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 no. He has a proclivity for eugenics and random yeah. theories about how intelligence works in white people. That is literally Aryan nation stuff. That is a proclivity. That is not science and how actually the stuff works. So that is right. Like the language just gets watered down from any actual substance and meaning and used in the same way. You saw this in uh, the Supreme Court decisions about Roe v. Wade. You look at the footnotes and it says domestic labor supply. That's why we can't have abortions because America needs a domestic labor supply of what? Unwanted children or children who couldn't, couldn't be provided for and taken care of by their families or by society. So I'm sorry, do you want to open up workhouses again? Because actually Sarah Huckabee Sanders is governor. She's like, yeah, 13 year olds can work in yeah, factories. Like, I was oh, going to say, fine. they're like, let, yeah, let, sure, let them do not? that. Right. So all of this <laughs> connects, but you said something that I want to bring back to JD Vance because he's the one yeah. who's, Trump's not going away, but at some point he's going to die, right? Like, unless he manages to, you know, figure out chirogenics and is here till he's for the next 40 years. But JD Vance made a point of saying he's only 40 years old. I'm 40 years old. Like, I'm just getting started. He did this. Yeah, but I will tell you the job, the job that you want the least if you want to be president of the United States is the nominee for vice president in the Republican Party. There has only been one <laughs> vice presidential nominee in like the last hundred years who has made it even to be nominated as the candidate of the party. It was George Walker Bush, the first, Robert Walker Bush, yep. the, George Bush, the first, all the rest of them. I mean, what happened to Dan Quayle? <laughs> what happened mm -hmm. to Nelson Rockefeller? What happened to Wait, you is, know, Dick is the Cheney? Democratic what happened to... Is the Democratic, <laughs> the, the track, Democratic track record so much better? Every, yeah, absolutely. Every Democratic vice president gets nominated to be president. Al Gore, Hubert Humphrey, Walter oh, Mondale, you know, Joe Biden... Like they <laughs> like get nominated. Get they actually at least get nominated and they get a they get full fourth effort behind them. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So maybe JD Vance won't be nominated. The Republicans but, don't even get nominated. So I'm going to connect a couple of things here. You have mentioned before about how JD Vance talks about. So his wife, Usha, who is Indian American, yeah. um, went to God law school with woman. him. I don't feel a lot for Melania, but I do feel for that woman. She feels like she's a prisoner. So, she, so you went to Yale Law School. <laughs> she clerked for Justice Roberts. Clearly a smart woman, has three kids who are under the age of nine. She has a two-year-old when this all started. Three kids, right? So this is already, I'm like, oh my God, that's a lot to carry. Yeah. J.D. Vance yeah. talks about them as her children, not ours. Yeah. Did an yeah. interview in which she talked about how he's Catholic and how he feels bad for his wife, who was raised Hindu, to come to church with him and bring her kids and raise them that way. And I'm just like, whoa, once again... <laughs> Are you guys on the same page about what's going on in your life? Are you, are you what's going on? Like you, you're talking about empathy for your wife and her kids, but are you he not also on the said, same page about this, faith? Or like what's going remember on Remember this here? from a week or so ago? Remember we talked about this? Remember this from a week or so ago where he said something like, you know, his wife who's got this great career, but then she's also got to like manage the kids and how mm -hmm. like it's such a burden for her to have to do all this. Mm -hmm. The whole time I'm sitting there like, you don't have any responsibility for like nope. managing your kids. Nope. <laughs> like but, your but wife's this... a full fledged professional and she's got to nope. both do that and completely manage like all the kids while you run around the country with this lunatic. And, and for reference, this is not a boomer where that was societally right. what was going on. Jamal, he's younger than we are. And yes, this is the one. I'm younger than you, Jamal, but JD Vance is young. I'm like, this is not how dudes are parenting these days who want anything that resembles a happy home life, right? That's just not how it's done. It's not sustainable. But then talking about her, she did that thing. What I can glean from all of this was this idea that Asian, Asian Americans, whether they're of the brown or the East Asian persuasion, right? We're talking about people who are descended from like, you know, half of the world in ethnicity, um, yeah. have assumed that they can be race neutral, right? That she could have proximity. Right. She did, like you said, I checked all the boxes. I did all the right things. I became the hyper-achieving superstar, blah, 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 blah. 
what do people say about her, right? What are the people in her party, especially the religious uh, evangelical folks, what are they saying out loud, right? She's pagan, right? Like, this is not a mm. first lady. You know, this is watering down our mm. bloodline. I'm like, guys, it, it is, this is not the place. This is not the group that is going to help you advance and grow. You're, you bought into the lies about how to actually be happy and healthy and advance in American society. You were told if you just acted just like the J.D. Vance's of the world, as a minority, man or woman, you could achieve, right? Nothing else would get in you. your way. Here's what I don't understand as a man, and I'm going to be maybe traditionally male here for a minute, and you can push back on me about this. But we do fundamentally are raised, we are fundamentally raised to protect our families, to be the people in our households, to keep, make sure that like, you know, if something breaks, try to fix it. If somebody is at the door, you know, you go downstairs and figure out like who it is in the middle of the night. What is that bump? I don't understand these guys, Ted Cruz, J.D. Vance, who sign up with Donald Trump who mm. attacks their wives either in name or in culture and are willing to pass by that without pumping that guy in the nose. Like, I don't, I That's... just don't understand how you could sit there every day next to somebody who, you know, has disdain for the person who is supposed to be the closest person who is raising with you, your children, who is a part of your family, who sleep with all the time and every night. Like, I don't understand how you allow that. 